All right, today we're gonna to talk about how to uh, fix any electrical problems you may have on your DeWalt dust collector, particularly the uh, model DWV010. The main thing that you've gotta do is, uh, after you pop the top off of the yellow base, you've gotta remove a bunch of um, screws that are in all these long, deep holes. And the problem is that, you know, I have a pretty decent little Torx screwdriver set, but they're not long enough. But fortunately, the uh, heads also accept a straight blade driver, so you can get those all out. Uh, I wanted to point out that there's a couple here, uh, in addition to the main holes in there, uh, I discovered there's a few other screws out around by the handles. There's four out by the handles, and then there's also um, two on the flip side. You've got to take these two out here on the top. So once you take these two and then all the ones on the bottom, plus the four by the handles, you can get the thing apart. The main thing that I want to tell you when taking this thing apart is to be really careful about these pistons and make sure you get them set up in there correctly before you, if you do pop them out before you uh, um, uh, close the unit back up or your um, dual exhaust mode where it switches from one filter to the other won't work properly after that. It had a pretty janky cord um, electrical cord, which I um, I could have just shortened and used, but because um, you know, it had a, a big gouge in it, but I decided to just buy a new nine footer. So um, I'll post a link to the particular cord that I got, which is you need a 14 gauge cord, but each you know, three conductor 14 gauge cord, and so that's what I got here, and it's nine feet long, a little bit better. So the outlet here, let's see if I can get down here to it. This is the back of the outlet. This little back plate right here, you can use a, a screwdriver and just very carefully pry that open. There's some tabs that are hard to get to, but I was just, I just did it gently and kind of keep, kept working on it from all sides. And that is like a, a square cap that pops off. And once you pop off that square cap, uh, you can see inside that there are, um, it's a really simple terminal mechanism where those wires just go down over the back end of the uh, outlet prong terminals and you can pull those out and tighten up the outlets and put them back in and you don't have to replace this unit. So that, that can actually be completely easily repaired if the, if the outlet is too loose. You can just pull out the tongs, tighten them and put them back in. That's what I did and I got a nice firm outlet connection there. Um, uh, this guy's really easy to pop out. You just um, squeeze and push it out through the front. Um, doesn't come back into the unit, it goes out through the front. Uh, and I haven't tried to take this switch off, but I imagine it works the same way. Um, if you have a control bar board failure, this con uh, control board can be replaced. It's about 60 to 90 bucks, depending on where you buy it. Um, as you can see the part number on there, that's um, N355959. Okay, this is the moment we've been waiting for. I just repaired my the uh, outlet and outlet switch on the DeWalt dust collector. And um, unfortunately, it, when I got it on Facebook Marketplace, it came with pretty janky hose. The hose, I don't have the right coupler for my sander, but I've plugged my sander in. And the way this is designed to work is, if I turn the outlet switch off, then the vacuum just works like a vacuum. Turn it on. Working right now. If I press the power switch on and turn on the vacuum, it comes on for a second. But then, what's cool is it waits for demand from the electrical system. So I'll turn on my sander. Now the sander's on. The vacuum's on. So it only makes noise while you're using it. Then, when you turn off the sander, it should go off. I think after 30 seconds or something, it just works. All right, it works. 50 bucks. Can't beat that.